Good evening, it's midnight, Wednesday, I'm off to Mum's tomorrow, got a lot to do, got another dump run to do and I've got a lot to do myself over there, so I'm actually debating on whether to take my toolbox or not, but it also means an early start, anyway, I've, uh, fuck me, it's brought it up to 60, 70% on, hell, it's actually charged rather, charges rather fast. I've got all those charged. Those I've just charged. These are actually taking a lot longer. I put them in the same time I put those in. These are taking a bit longer. These are both up to 70% now. And now there's too much glare from the light, so you can't... Who's that? Is that any better? No, I just plunged it into darkness, but I think you can just see the display. I'm going to leave them. There's a couple of old Uniross C-size barrels. I don't even know if they're any good, to be honest. They're charging, which is a good thing. I've got them D-size batteries there, which, um, believe it or not, I got from an old, um, um, an old, um, emergency light fitting. That's what I got that from. And I've got to try and find, which I might go downstairs in a minute and have a look with a torch, um, the receipt for the, for a set of headphones I bought yesterday because the um, 3.5mm jack is dodgy. Every time I wiggled it and actually bent the wire right at the jack, um, they would cut out, so... I've got the packaging, I just need the, um, need the, uh, receipt, and I think I threw it in a bin outside when I walked past emptying my coat pocket. So, if it's going to be in there, it's going to be laying in the top of one of them, so. Mum said I might get away with just taking it in, in the original packaging, but I don't want to you know, take that risk, I'd rather have the receipt. If I can't find the receipt, I'm going to cut the dodgy plug off and just butcher my own one on. Or attempt to butcher my own, own one on. <laughs> yeah, I've got this working as well. You know what it was? The hard drive had just popped out of its socket, that's all. Because I don't have a hard drive caddy on this. Because um, it didn't come with one. It didn't come with a hard drive when I got it. Obviously someone had just unscrewed the cover and just pulled the hard drive out and caddy and put the cover back on and dumped the rest. So I need to, at some point when I remember, to go on eBay and uh, try and find one. At the moment it's just got a folded up piece of paper in there to stop it popping out again. Oh, pardon me. A bit of wind at the minute. <sighs> what do you want, boss? I forgot to empty my bins today as well. A number of times I've been downstairs. I've got a pile of cables I need to sort through in the bedroom. Uh, only because I emptied the drawer because I was looking for audio cables because... I'm going to use a 3.5mm jack, or headphones with a 3.5mm jack, I should say. I thought, or I remembered I had that adapter, you see, it goes, um, uses one of those cables, which is a 3.5mm jack to um, double RCA connectors, as you can see, left and right, into this block, and then you've got three outputs. <laughs> completely forgot I had that so I thought, uh, yeah, I'll make use of it so uh, mind you, those headphones were only 9 99 I suppose I could buy a slightly better set I could try a pair out of QDs actually when I get paid, I don't know if I find the receipt, I'll get them changed. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just get another pair and use those as a spare. Oh, 
No, I'm not going to shut this down yet. See, this will work fine like this, and after a while of this being on, like half an hour to an hour or whatever, the bloody screen just goes blank, and I think it could be down to either a faulty video chip, or the video chip is getting too hot and shutting off. So what I want to do at some point in the near future is um, take the cover off of this, locate the... Um, video chip and just make sure the thermal paste is fine on it. What are you doing? I've gone up another 10%. It seems to bring it up to this sort of percentage quite quick then it slows down because that one's this end one's been on 90% for quite some time now. It's still bloody warm and all. Heating up. And I, I'm going to play a bit of GTA before I disappear to bed. I'm supposed to get frost over the weekend as well. talk about a lot of things that I've seen on Facebook today, but I don't really know if you'd be up for that. For that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Grab a, yeah, I'll find a flash lamp. I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can find a, my receipt. Me. Um... I got a letter from Victory Housing the other day wanting an update on who's using the sheds um, and it said please respond using the enclosed stamped addressed envelope there wasn't any fucking envelope included but they know full well that I'm still using it because apparently they've got a couple of people who um, want a shed, apparently. The neighbour below me want one. There's one empty one up there. Um, but uh, well, the only thing I think of is that they'll have to decide whose priority it should be um, given to. Keeping that, keeping in mind, my neighbour's got to empty his garage out out the back there because it's actually um, NNDC's property. It's all part of the. <coughs> it's all part of the um, council land out here that has just been sold. So, well, I presume it's just been sold, or in the process, maybe. Where's the fucking oh there is? Looking for the mute button. Um, oh, I had a friend stop up yesterday after he messaged me on Facebook. Um, the bike he uses to tow his trailers, um, well actually it was a tricycle, an adult's tricycle. The rear axle's gone, completely gone. The bearings just went and it just it's locked the axle up. Um, and because he needs that for work, <laughs> he needed a bike quite sharpish. He didn't want to get a decent bike, you know, to wreck from towing trailers and whatnot. So he messaged me asking if I had anything, and at first I was like, I've only got a decent one. And then I sort of thought, and I thought, no I haven't. So I've got, I had that old Apollo full suspension bike on my trailer, the one I found discarded in a skip out there that someone had fly tipped so I thought I could put that together for him and there's some woman in a shirt on GTA just took a photo of Trevor and his 4x4 <laughs> no idea why he's not doing it that's it that's just where the game loaded where I last saved it <laughs> Fine. 
go kill those gang members in a minute. <laughs> uh, so I've got him sorted with that. It didn't take me long to sort that out. I had the back wheel there. I had a front wheel there. I just threw those in. Back wheel's got slight buckling, but nothing serious. Um, good tyres, so he shouldn't get a puncture. Good tubes. And just replaced three of the um, cables, both brake cables and the rear gear cable. Oh yeah, and put a chain on it because I nicked the chain for another bike. <laughs> so I had to put one on it. But, uh, yeah, he took it, rode it around outside and he was happy with it, so. He's not usually a fuss pot anyway, as long as it works good enough, you know. He won't, he's, no, he's not a perfectionist. So, yeah, he's sorted. Uh, looks like I'm going to be picked up early, so I don't want to be playing around on GTA for too long, as it's now quarter past twelve, or coming up to. So, I'm going to shut the video down, just a quick vlog. And, uh, I'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Uh, probably tomorrow night, because um, I'm probably going to be coming home with quite a few bits and pieces, so I'll talk to you tomorrow night when I get home. Bye.